dizzy, but I can deal. A little foggy, but not quite real. A little respite from my mind. A little feeling far behind. A little break from watching. So I'm, I'm John Sutton, I volunteer for the NHS in mental health services. Yeah, when I least expected it, well, really, I, I was, it actually quite shocked me because when I told people that I had bipolar disorder, for some, they didn't, it didn't change how they were towards me, they didn't act differently or anything, but there was one person in particular who I least expected it from that sort of treated me differently. And by that I mean they blamed everything I said or did on my diagnosis. And to be quite honest, I'm the same person now as I was before I was diagnosed. Dejected. Totally dejected because, like I said, I, I didn't expect it and uh, it, it threw me. When, when, when you least expect it from somebody, it changes the sort of way they treat you and how I treat them. Back, you know, totally different. To be quite honest, I didn't want, I didn't want to know them after that. But I don't I don't need that in my life. I'm the, I'm the same person now as I was before I was diagnosed. And um, I've never changed because of that bipolar disorder diagnosis. In fact, it's made it's made me want to be not successful. I, I, I want to overachieve. Just because I have this label doesn't mean to say I'm not capable or I can't. Because I'd like to think that I'm quite an optimistic person and it makes me want to do more and to do better, you know. I think people should see the person more, not the diagnosis, because I think I am not bipolar disorder, if that makes sense. It's just something that I have. It doesn't define me as a person at all. Raise more awareness, talk more, instigate conversation more, um, have workshops and conferences. There is already a lot of that out there, and uh, that's, that, that's what I like to do, raise awareness at places like that. So yeah, I think talk, talking more and being more open would definitely be a good starting point and help, help people more. And just listen, listen to people. Doctors, nurses, psychiatrists, family, friends, everybody. Everybody, it would change society massively.